what do you guys know about sound? So we've talked about a lot of different topics. We've talked a lot about water and light and carbon dioxide gas, but who's ready to talk about sound? It's even cooler than you think. So we're going to make some sound detectors. They're basically just homemade drums, but you'll need a couple different containers and some plastic wrap and some rubber bands. And this is actually a balloon with the stem cut off. And then we have some different size food to see what it does. And don't forget about your drumsticks. I'm using chopsticks. Hey, I'm a scientist, not a musician. See the grits flying all over the place? Even if I hit this side, the grits on this side still move. Sound is made by vibrations. Feel your throat as you talk, and you can feel the vibrations in your throat. Now let's try switching up the food. So we have the grits on the bigger drum, and the bigger food on the smaller drum, and let's see what it does, if it acts any differently. It looks like the bigger drum has the bigger vibrations. Definitely has the bigger vibrations. So even though I was hitting both drums equally as hard, the bigger drum had the bigger vibrations. The food particles went up in the air a lot more. And we can even try the food on the smaller one. So as you can see with the smaller one, the food particles don't bounce as high. There's not as much vibration. So when I hit the drums, it causes vibrations. And you can observe these vibrations by seeing what it does to the food on the plastic wrap. It bounces them all over the place. And these vibrations will travel through the air. And when they're traveling through the air, they're sound waves. And these sound waves will travel through the air until they hit something, like our homemade sound detector or the food or our eardrum. And once these sound waves hit our eardrum, it vibrates our eardrum, just like the sound detector and the drums. And when our eardrum vibrates, it sends it to our, our mind. And our mind is actually what hears the sound. And the sound that we hear, that is determined by the size and the speed of the vibrations. Let's observe some more sound, shall we? So you can try making different sounds towards the sound detector. You can try something that's really loud and try something that's and you can try high-pitched, and you can try low-pitched. And try to make sure that you don't breathe too much when you're talking into the sound detector, because you don't want your breath to vibrate it. You want the sound to vibrate it. Were you able to see the plastic wrap and the grits moving? So there's a bunch of different ways that you can observe sound throughout your house. If you find different ways, let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys were able to come up with. So we will do some really cool experiments with sound in the near future. But it's important to understand that sound starts with vibrations, and then they travel through the air as sound waves. So with sound, the louder, low-pitched sounds made the bigger vibrations. And the same can be said about life. The heavier, more difficult circumstances can lead to much greater blessings. We go through some good times and we go through some bad times. And some are worse than others. And when you're feeling like you're going through a very, very difficult time, know that God is doing his work and he is planning something big and great for you. And in the meantime, you have your family and your friends to help you feel better and strong and help you through the difficult times. Let them know how they can help you. Let me know how I can help you. And until next time, bye.